Welcome. In this video, you will learn about how to use FinPro portal and mobile app services. This service will enable you to move online without taking cloud or hosting data on cloud. And if you have already taken this service, then you may skip the next 60 seconds. And for the one who are new to FinPro portal and mobile app services, may choose different service plans as per their needs, such as e-reporting only. Here you can check some of your reports of FinPro ERP on your mobile app and portal. E-reporting with order and payment collection entry. In this your staff can take orders from customers or collect payment through the mobile app. E-business plan. This plan includes all the facilities of both plans 1 and 2. Additionally you can also take orders online directly from customers and also your customer can check their ledger and outstanding report without any cost. To activate this service, you must contact your FinPro software provider, or you can also mail us on sales at onlinesic.com. You can find this email in description below. After that, you need to provide us with these details. Which plan you are interested in? E-reporting only. E-reporting with order and payment collection entry or e-business plan. Your FinPro key or lock number. Your admin username. Your admin email ID. And your admin mobile number. After receiving all these details we will start your setup process. You will get your login data as soon as the setup process is completed. And keep the details safely. Now, open, finproportal.onlinesic.com, in the browser, you can also find this website link, in the description below. Now, log in with your details, and click on sign in. Then you will be directed to your dashboard. From here, you can check many options on the left hand side. In the middle, you will see your top online customers who mostly gives you orders online. And then the top products. Here you will see your products that are mostly being ordered online. And on the right hand side, you can upload your company's logo. Below in the summary, you can see details like, your total customers, your FinPro app registered customers, the total number of products, your unbilled orders, your total order amount up to date, and your due bills. Now, to start go to the settings, and click on users. Here you have to create all the users who are going to use the portal and mobile app service. Then choose, add the new user option above on the right hand side. Fill in the details as asked. Enter the user's email ID. Enter the full name of the user. Then choose the user type you want to create. In admin, user can access all the settings and view report only through mobile app or web portal. And in the agent, your users or staff can take orders online or collect payment through the mobile app. For example, let's create a user for an agent. Now, choose the purpose according to your need from the user task. Taking orders online, check receive payments, or both. I have chosen, both for now. Enter the mobile number and address of the user. Then enter the user's device ID. You can find this ID on the login page of the user's FinPro app. You have to enter device ID only if you are creating users as an agent. This ID assures the user can only log in and operate using that particular device you have given access to. Enter the ID accordingly from your user's FinPro app. Then enter the user's active email ID for receiving notifications and recovery of password. The status of the user's account will be active by default, you can change it from edit, to deactivate, or activate it later on. Now, enter password and confirm it again, and click on save, to create a user. After successfully creating a user, you have to map the user with, FinPro software agent. For that, click on the user mapping option in the settings from the menu. Then click on create user mapping. Now, choose the username or email of the user you have created before. If you have multiple companies, you may change it from here, or else leave it as it is. Select the agent name, and click on save. After completing the user mapping, you have to do few settings, to start taking the orders and collecting payments from your staff mobile FinPro app. For that, click on customers from the menu, and select customer list. From the listed customers, choose the customer with whom you want to start your transactions online. It is necessary to have customer's number or email ID. If not available then you may add it from your FinPro software. Then click on the register button. You can register multiple customers at once.
After that, click on the call plan from the menu, and click route. Then, click on create a new route. Here you have to define the visit route of your sales staff. Enter the description of the route. Select the status, which will be active by default. Then select the company. Now, select a customer from the list according to the route. And, click on the add customer option below. You may repeat this process for adding multiple customers. Then click on save. For adding more customers click on edit. And select the customer and save it again. And lastly, choose call plan from the call plan menu. Here, you have to assign your staff, or agent according to the route created. Click on create new plan. Choose your staff. And select the route. Then enter the preferred start date and end date. Select the days of collecting orders from visit days, and click on save. Great, now you are all set to go online. Here, in this part, you will see, how to operate the mobile app for staff or agents. Open the FinPro mobile app. Enter the login details, and click on sign in. Now, click on, call plan, and select the route by clicking, start call button. Then select the customer from the list and choose the take order option. Search for the product. Enter the quantity. And click add. Repeat the same process for adding other products. Leave remarks if needed. Then click on take order to confirm. Similarly, for the collection of payments, go back to the main menu and click on call plan. Choose the route and click on start call. Select the customer from the list and click on collect payment. Choose the company and enter the details as asked. Then click on save payment. Your payment is saved successfully. There is also another way of getting online orders directly from the end users. For that, click on user request. Check for the new user's request from the customer, and accept it. Then, click on the customer from the menu and choose customer mapping. Select end user. Choose the company name. Then select FinPro software customer name. Click on the save button to save the mapping. After mapping only, the end user can place orders directly to you. End user can also see their outstanding report as well as download the statement too. If at any time you want to stop online transactions, you may unmap the end user from the setting. Now there are several reports that you may check. Click orders from the menu, and choose order list. Here you can see your live order reports, that are being placed online. Choose different options from status, and click on filter orders. And for payment collection report, click on payment from the menu, and choose the collection list. Here you can see live payment collection from your staff. At the same time, you can also check, FinPro ERP reports like, customer outstanding, customer summary, customer ledger, product stock in, out, and stock and sales statement. For example, if you want to check the ledger, click on customer ledger. Choose the company, date, enter customer name.
include PDC and click on view report. You can also download the PDF of the report. Similarly, for the outstanding report, click on customer outstanding. Choose date, customer name. And click on view report. In the same way, you can check other reports too. That was all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like, if this video was helpful to you. We would love to have you with us, so do subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell, for more tutorials in the future.